Hi guys and welcome to another puzzle haul video and I know I just did my collection but a lot has happened since. We had a puzzle exchange event, we had puzzle competition just a week ago and then I also have a friend in high places, not just kidding. He's a puzzle distributor as well so yeah that happened but I promise I did not buy any new puzzle if anything I sold four puzzles and they were all 500 pieces each so it's not a lot but it's a beginning so as usually I divided the video into sections so I've got the puzzles that I borrowed then I've got the puzzles that I exchanged and then the puzzles that I received so let's just start with the first section which is the puzzles that I borrowed so what basically happened is that girl that goes to the competition with us we usually pick her up in Ljubljana and then we drive together she told me that she's got Ravensburger's 500 piece puzzles but she can only lend them to me because guess what she's coming to the world next year so she's gonna be my competition <laughs> but yeah so she decided she's gonna lend them to me so I can you know just speed run them through so they're not gonna be a part of my collection because I'm gonna return them to her at the next competition and about the competition right so we had pairs this time and I was with my sister and we managed to win even though it was a really difficult puzzle I'm gonna show you the picture so I don't actually have the puzzle with me and I wanted to tell you why it's basically Karolina came from Austria again and the girl that is lending me those puzzles they were together as a pair and they just missed the podium so we gave them our puzzle so they could take one puzzle home each so yeah, that's why I don't have it, but I will show it to you because it was a, it's a nice picture. <laughs> it's just, it's so misleading. I felt like, what was the one? Um, it was the Northern Gannet, Scotland, you know, the panoramic one. And I saw the front, I was like, oh wow, this is going to be so cool. And then I turn it around and I see it's panoramic and it was completely dark on the side. It was the same with this one. It's like when we saw the box, we were like, oh, look, it's a nice gradient. And then we flipped it around and it's literally just black at the top. So it was definitely difficult. But luckily, my sister managed to see. I don't know how she did it, but she saw like the brush strokes, the direction of them. So she knew exactly which pieces were like horizontal and which ones were vertical, which helped us so much. So yeah, I've got nothing to say. My sister literally saved me at that competition. So yeah, it was so much fun. Anyway, let's move on to the puzzles now. The first one is a 500 piece puzzle by Ravensburger and the title of this one is Lake Como, Italy. Definitely a puzzle I would not buy for myself, but I think it's gonna be great for speed running because I don't know, this one seems so much similar to the one that we got in the finals last year. It's basically a picture that I'm not used to putting together. So it's gonna be a good practice, I hope. I hope it's not gonna drive me insane. Up next is a 500 piece puzzle by Ravensburger and the title of this one is Dandelions at Sunset. Don't ask me why I agreed to take this puzzle because I don't know, but they had nature edition last year. So, you know, it's probably better to practice, <laughs> but this one looks like hell, honestly. I mean, I'm not sure if it's more difficult than the one that they got, the Lupins one. I have no idea, but it does look tough. I mean, you can see a little bit of like color difference in the grass and obviously you got a bit of gradient to the sky, but yeah. Also, not the type of puzzle that I would buy for myself ever. And the last one is a 500 piece puzzle by Ravensburger and the title of this one is Animals. Now, this is the puzzle that I'm really looking forward to doing because I think this is going to be the easiest puzzles I've done out of all of the Circle of Colors ones because it's so clearly divided by colors. I mean, I'm not sure how obvious it's going to be when I actually see the pieces, but on the picture, it seems quite clearly divided into 10 sections, which would basically make it like 50 pieces each, which should be really quick. I mean, there's like the two oranges. They are not really, I can't really see the difference in the color, but I can see the difference in the leaves because you can see this one has got orange leaves and this one's got like brownish leaves. So I think this is going to be like the difference but everything else is quite clearly separated i think i should definitely do this under one hour because i did the ocean one under one hour and this one looks easier so only one way to find out and now moving on to the puzzles that i exchanged and i have no idea how the pile is so huge it's just like i try to keep them down but it just keeps growing i know sometimes it can be a bit tricky because i know that i swap these ones for thousand piece puzzles which obviously means I give one puzzle, I get two back and it's a bit, yeah. But those two puzzles we solve with my sister anyway, so they're gonna go quickly out of my collection and also I'm gonna speed run all of the 500 pieces, which also means that they're quickly gonna get out of my collection as well. 
So one puzzle at a time, we're gonna get there. But at the moment, I cannot fit all of the puzzles in my closet, which means that I've got too many puzzles because this is my measure. <laughs> anyway, let's start with the first puzzle now. The first one is a 368-piece puzzle by Ravensburger, and the title of this one is The Toy Factory. I actually got this puzzle from Carolina as an early exchange because she said she wants to have the blue kazoo one, the jet stream, once I finish it. So she gave me this one and once I do the other one I'm gonna give it to her. So I'm really looking forward to putting this one together, it seems like it's gonna be quite easy. But she did say that it's really difficult to find a solution because, well, it does have five out of five. So I'm not sure how that's gonna be, but at least the assembly is gonna be easy. The next one is a 759 piece puzzle by Ravensberger and the title of this one is The Temple Grounds. And this one is the exact opposite to the other one. So apparently the assembly is so difficult. So I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to that. But from what I've heard is there are some animals that are standing out by color. So you can put them together and then everything is just green and brown. So it's really difficult. But then she said that the actual puzzles were really simple to, you know, to find the solution. So... I don't know which one I prefer, to be honest, but we'll see when we get there. Up next is a 500-piece puzzle by Clementoni, and the title of this one is Paris. You have one guess to figure out why I got this puzzle, because, you know, I wouldn't have picked it if it wasn't for the competition, because it's just blue. I mean, it looks like a nightmare, to be completely honest with you. But, to be fair, the gradient might be really easy to see when putting the puzzle together. But this one just looks like it's gonna take me forever to do. Oh. Good thing that it's only 500 pieces, right? The next one is also 500 piece puzzle by Clementoni and the title of this one is Seychelles. I don't think I'm saying the title of this puzzle right, but it's probably like a place, a town or somewhere. have no idea, I never heard of it. But this one I actually like. You can see the gradient is a bit more obvious than in the last one. Obviously there's two different types of colours, so it's not just all blue. And it's got a lot of other things as well. So I think this one is actually going to be a lot more enjoyable to put together. I think it's still going to be quite difficult, but I think it's it's doable. We have another 500-piece puzzle by Clementoni, and the title of this one is Captain Vancouver. The more I look at those pictures, the more I'm thinking why I decided to exchange them. But yeah, this one looks tough. Again, the only thing I'm going to say about this puzzle is, thank God it's only 500 pieces, because it looks like it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. And the last 500 piece puzzle by Clementoni, it's called Pisa. This one is definitely a little bit easier. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. It's just this building. Yeah. I think the sky part is gonna be okay because that blue is quite, you know, it's a big chunk of blue and then the yellow. So I think this is gonna be quite easy to separate. And the buildings between each other as well. It's just not sure how difficult this section is gonna be because it's quite big. But yeah. Everything is good for practice. It's like doing the puzzles that I'm not good at doing is the best way to practice for the worlds because, well, the final puzzle at the worlds really threw me off because it's not something I would normally puzzle. So when it happened, I didn't even know how to, you know, what to look for, like the details or anything, how to go about the puzzle. I didn't know any of that. So I think it's good to do puzzles like that because then you learn a little bit more of like how to view the puzzle, like what to look for in the puzzle. So I'm really hoping that those puzzles are gonna help me get ready for the world. And now we are moving to the second pile of exchange puzzles, so let's just start with the first one. The first one are three 500 piece puzzles by Ravensburger, and the title of this one is Impressions of New York. So this puzzle is very much similar to the one that I've done with animals, you know, the which one it was, the Clementoni one, I think it was. So it's like the one that you were supposed to frame, I suppose. It looks really nice, but the one thing that worries me a little bit that it's basically black and white. So I think in that sense, it's gonna be quite difficult, especially this one, it's got so many empty spaces. I'm actually not sure if I wanna speed run those because they just look like they might drive me insane. <laughs> and I don't wanna, you know, do the puzzles and find them unenjoyable and then suffer through them. So I think I'm just gonna start with the easiest one, probably with this one, and then I'm gonna have the piece cut pattern. I know. <laughs> no cheating in puzzling, right? So yeah, I think I'm probably gonna help myself with this one when it's got a lot of empty spaces. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any gradient on the actual pieces, but when I see the picture, it doesn't seem to me like there's a gradient. 
Up next is the Thousand Piece Puzzle by Ravensburger and the title of this one is Queen of Hearts. I exchanged this one with Carolina because she knows that I love Disney and my sister already decided she was like yeah I'm getting this one to assemble as well because it looks so much fun. I think it's going to be quite easy to put together. I mean it took me like nine hours to do the 2000 Disney one which had frames as well and I think having frames actually can help when putting the puzzle together because it kind of helps you like make smaller sections if you know what I mean. As long as the frame is obvious to separate one from another, then it can become a bit of a nightmare. The next one is also a thousand piece puzzle by Ravensburger and the title of this one is White Room. So this puzzle, right, I wanted lost places for so long, but I think I might have made a mistake. I mean, look at this puzzle, it's just white. So I'm not sure if I'm happy with the decision I made, but I did want to do lost places for a long time and I'm kind of happy that I got it, but at the same time, I'm scared of this puzzle. I mean, can I even do the sorting? Probably not. I just hope that the detail is gonna be obvious enough for me to know where something goes. The next one is a thousand piece puzzle by Cam and Tony, and the title of this one is New Zealand Lighthouse. This one is basically the same as the last one I had, but this one has a New Zealand Lighthouse, so I kind of had to have it because, you know, I'm gonna assemble this puzzle and then when I go to visit her, she's gonna take me to it. She's got no choice. Hear me, Donna Louise, can you hear me? The next one is also a thousand piece puzzle by Clementoni and the title of this one is Waterfall. Now this puzzle I really like. I don't know why, but there's something about it. I think it's probably the colors, you know, that I have a thing for colors and it's just this sunset or sunrise. I don't even know what it is. It's just, you know, the gradient going to blue and then this like orange water i just love it i do think it's gonna be quite difficult to put together but i really like the image so i think i'm gonna enjoy it either way up next is a thousand piece puzzle by schmidt and the title of this one is tower bridge london so we've got london again right and i already have one london puzzle and i've done many london puzzles but it's just it's a different picture and you know it looks difficult <laughs> I don't know what's with me and the difficult puzzles lately, but I've got so many that it's really difficult to decide which one to tackle first because it feels like they're gonna take me forever. So there's another one to add to my collection because, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be quick. <laughs> the next one is also a thousand piece puzzle by Schmidt and the title of this one is The Village Lighthouse. I also don't know what's with the lighthouses lately, but I've got a lot of them in my collection. I don't particularly like this picture. The only reason I took it is because this puzzle is metallic and when I opened it, I was like, ooh, <laughs> I really liked it. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if it's any point to assemble it in the video because I think the reflection is gonna be too much because then it's so glossy. It feels like they've got something poured over to maybe keep the metallic inside. I don't know how to explain, but yeah, it looks good though. It's shiny, so <laughs> you know, I like shiny stuff. And the last puzzle I exchanged is a 2000 piece puzzle by Clementoni and the title of this one is Radiant. This is the first puzzle I have from Colorboom collection and I really like that collection. I wanted to have the 500 piece one, the Stava one. It was actually supposed to be our battle of the YouTube puzzlers puzzle and I think they couldn't get it in Australia and New Zealand which was really unfortunate because this one would be so much fun to put together. But anyway, we've got this one now and I really like it. I don't know how I'm gonna tackle it, it's not like a plain gradient, but I think I'm just gonna have to focus on the color that I have the least and then just, you know, make my way out from there. But I think it's gonna be quite cool to put together and it's 2000 pieces as well. And obviously moving on to the last pile, which are basically the puzzles that I got and I got them from my friend who is basically a toy and like games distributor for Slovenia and they also do puzzles. So the bottom two puzzles are actually discontinued and I'm gonna tell you the reasons why when we get to them. But the top two are new ones in that collection, so I've never done them before. I don't know what the quality is gonna be, but I really like the images. So let me show you the first one. So the first one is a thousand piece puzzle by Ambassador and the title of this one is Unknown. So like I mentioned, I don't have the title for this puzzle because they only do it in like codes. But what they did is basically, if you see photographer's collection, they took like world's famous photographers and they took their pictures and basically put them into the puzzles. What I really like about this is that they've got the piece cut, the pattern cut on the image at the back, which I know I've mentioned before. I think I saw it first time with Flora Hart and I said that I think every puzzle should have that. 
because sometimes it does happen, especially when it's a difficult image that you can get a little bit stuck and then you can help yourself out with the actual pattern cut. But I really like the images and they also have like a little poster inside. But like I said, I have no idea what the quality is going to be. It's Ambassador, which I've never done before. So, you know, something new for you guys as well, because I can then let you know about the quality. The next one is also a thousand piece puzzle by Ambassador and the title of this one is Wildcats. So the same brand as the last one, but this one does have a title. What I really like about this puzzle is how it's divided into different sections, which I think it makes it so much easier to puzzle. And also on the back, we have the piece cut pattern again, and it just makes so much sense to put that on the box. Honestly, like every company should do that. Listen to me, do it, because it just makes it so much easier. Like I'm not saying for easy puzzles, it's just when you have something complicated and you start feeling frustrated. Like we were doing Dixit puzzle at the competition and it was literally all black at the top. And there was a piece cut pattern on the box. My sister and I didn't really use it because they were mostly ribbon grid cut pieces. There were a few like one prong and three prong pieces, but there wasn't so many that it would really help us out to follow the piece cut pattern. But for this one, I think this one has a lot more different shapes. So it's definitely gonna help more if I'm even gonna need to use it. The next one is a thousand piece puzzle by Twin Team and the title of this one is Nebulous Stars. As I mentioned earlier, this puzzle was discontinued and he told me the reason was because it was basically like a, a kid's picture, but it was a thousand pieces. So it was like, it didn't really go together because it was too difficult for kids to put together, but then it was too childish for adults to get it. So, you know, it was a bit like, it didn't really sell well. And to be fair, when I first saw it, I didn't want to get it either because it was a bit childish, but it does have glitter and you know, me and shiny things, we just love each other. <laughs> so. The next one is a thousand piece puzzle by Prime 3D and the title of this one is World Map. So this is not your average puzzle, right? It's a scratch puzzle. So they have others in the collection. The other one was the Paris one, which is basically double sided and then one of the sides you can scratch off and then the actual picture of the Paris turns into like a snowy picture of the Paris, which I think would be quite difficult to put together because obviously it's a double-sided puzzle with the same motive. But this one, when I opened the box, is basically only single-sided and once you put the map together, it's basically scratch off. So you basically scratch, you know, the places you've already visited and you also have the flags at the bottom. And I really liked it because I wanted to have a scratch map for a long time and this is just perfect. Well, almost perfect. The reason why they discontinued the puzzle is because they couldn't really do the design good enough with the scratch. Apparently they had some issues. So that's why it was discontinued. So I'm basically really lucky because I don't think you can get this puzzle anymore. I'm not sure if it actually even was sold. Maybe they discontinued it before it even hit the market. So maybe this is like a limited edition right here. But I'm not going to say anything because I haven't Googled it, so I cannot be certain that it wasn't sold or that it's not being sold anymore. But either way, I'm really happy to have it and I hope that the scratching is not going to be causing too much issues. And you get a scratch card as well, like how cool is that? It's going to solve my issues for lottery tickets that I never buy. So that's basically it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my new puzzles there. Oh God, there are just too many of them. My collection was supposed to be getting smaller. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!